Good day, viewers. I'd like to have a chat with you today about the common issue of companies using safety observers as switching assistants. What I would like to do is to have the name changed from a switching assistant to a switching director. Now, having the name switching assistant gives the impression that they don't do anything that they are the least qualified person that uh, just holds the program for them and, and that's it. The switching assistant does far more than just hold the program. Okay, they are not a safety observer. The switching assistant is usually the most qualified person on the job. The person wearing the suit is just the poor person who has drawn the, drawn the short straw to wear the suit. Nobody likes wearing the suit. So it's usually the person that is the least qualified is the one that's wearing the suit. All they have to do is press buttons and turn handles. It is the switching assistant or switching director is the one that is making sure the correct equipment is being operated. When you've got that hood on, it's already a tinted shield it fogs up, you've got safety glasses underneath of that as well, they fog up, very hard to see what you're doing. You've also got big gloves on, so it is the switching director who makes sure that the switching operator does the right thing. It's also, the switching director doesn't just read what's on here, the number of times that I come across people who are doing a switching program <coughs> and the switching assistant just generally states what's written on here. Now that's not what's supposed to happen. The operator has a hood on, has earplugs in, has a tinted face shield which is fogging up. They can't see what's on here. The person who wrote this meticulously made sure that everything is written on here. The step number, the location the equipment is, the type of the equipment is, the voltages, and the action to be done. And they repeat it over and over and over again. So the switching operator only has the readout from the switching assistant to know what is being done. If they interpret what's on here and they interpret it incorrectly, the operator has no idea. So the switching assistant is supposed to read verbatim what is on here. They don't interpret it, they don't put extra words in it, they don't make it sound easier to understand. If it needs to be spoken differently to understand it, then it should have been written differently. Okay, I rarely come across switching assistants that correctly do their job in reading out the switching program correctly. Rarely do I ever find anyone reading out the step numbers. Why read out the step numbers? So then the operator knows that if it was step 15 we were at before, it's step 16 that we're at now. Why do they repeatedly keep calling out the location of the job and the equipment number? Because of the fact that it could be a different location they're at right now. And as soon as they read that out, then it stops them and they realise we're supposed to go somewhere else. And then of course it is the switching assistant who is to go in and make sure that the equipment has switched and stayed switched. There is some old gear out there that when it switches you have got to make sure that it doesn't flip back from the cam. They make sure that the contacts are actually open or closed. You can't do that with the hood on. And there's no point taking the gloves off, taking the hood off, getting a torch, shining through a, a viewing window to see if you can see the contacts. That's the job of the switching assistant, which is why it's a separate, separate action on the switching program. The operator will operate it. The switching assistant is standing out of the way. They, they don't know exactly what they've done. So they've got to come in, or it could be standing outside, preferably outside the switch room. They come back in, 
and then they checked to make sure that they operated the correct switch and the switch is actually open or closed and then they can lock it out. Now not every site does it of course, some sites say that it's so important to read this correctly that the switching assistant don't take their eyes off the program. If that's what your procedure says, then so be it. But never is a switching assistant just a safety observer. I would like to hear from you about any incident or issue that you might have about using safety observers. It can be completely anonymous. Please send me a message. Let me know about any issue because I'd like to put that in my next article in the Electrical Connection magazine. But please, if you have any issue, if you've had a situation where you've had to use a safety observer and it hasn't gone well, or you don't like the idea, please let me know. Okay, hope it helps. See you tomorrow.